Deep Down Cleaning, your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. Matt Steinberg joining me here outside the Hamburg Center here on the St. Mary's com campus. Welcome welcome back to Halifax. i uh, been at the Evs, Evs camp. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. Um, yeah, so we got to, got to Colorado on the Sunday um, after the draft. We spent a lot of time um, on the ice in the gym, obviously. But, um, you know, the last day, you guys probably saw on Twitter, we did a lot of team building and fun stuff there. And um, then some kind of classroom and nutrition stuff throughout the week. So um, I think it was a really good learning experience for me and something I can take back home. Things happen so quickly. Draft day, there. All of a sudden, uh, there you were, the first pick of the, the, the third round by the Colorado Avalanche. I know we talked about it uh, that day, but uh, again, can you revisit that and, and how things happen so quickly and the emotions? Yeah, obviously you're you're kind of sitting there not knowing what to expect, and um, you know to hear your name called is something that you dream of for a long time now. Um, and I guess to 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 a team that my dad was involved with kind of yeah. makes it a little bit more special, but. Um, no, you kind of sit there not knowing what to expect and to hear your name called is a really good feeling. I asked you, and I'll ask you again, why did Matt Steinberg go first pick of the, the third round? Many had you projected much later in the draft. Um, I think it's kind of the physical ability um, that I bring. Uh, a little bit different style now than a lot of guys play, so um, I think that's something that might have helped me jump up. Um, you know, I think the, the work ethic and stuff like that, teams interview, um, you know, teams have mentioned that they put a lot of value into that. So. Um, I think there's a lot of little things that might have helped me jump up. Um, obviously, I wasn't the one making the pick, so I'm not sure exactly yeah. what it was. But um, I think it's kind of the physical style that I play. It's a little bit of a, a different style than a lot of guys now. How ironic is it that he goes to the, the, the same franchise that you, you once were a first-round pick for? Yeah, I, I never really thought of it till it took me a few minutes and then somebody mentioned it, and that's great. I, I Like I've said to a couple of people, it's it's his story. It's really not mine, but it is kind of neat that it's the same program. And, um, you know, let's hope that he gets a few more games than I did. But <laughs> At one point, uh, I saw I saw a tweet. Uh, I think uh, either you tweeted it out or the avalanche, perhaps, of, of you and Alex Newhook, uh, the first-round pick up on the, on the platform. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a great shot. Uh, tell me what's going on, what's being said. Um, yeah, obviously he's a guy from the Maritimes. Uh, went to St. Andrews where I was. Uh, so a little bit of connection there. We were friends kind of before, so um, I guess we were pretty excited to go to the same spot and spend a lot of time together that week. Um, you know, we had the, the chance to climb up the rock climbing wall and then do the, I don't know what it's called, kind of a jump off the, the ledge. Um, both not very good with heights, I guess, so by the time we got up there, we were uh, a little excited, a little scared, so, um, yeah, we had a little chat before we went down, and, um, yeah, I guess we went through it together. Yeah, you convincing him to, to go, or were you, or you just as, uh, had as much fear as he did? Yeah, no, he is probably doing more than convincing up there. <laughs> <than> me, <yeah. laughs> All right, perhaps a, a low or two that uh, you began to wonder if, in fact, your dream was possible. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, my surgery's there and my, my first year midget. Um, that was obviously probably a low point, would be a low point for everybody, um, missing the majority of that year. Um, you know, being from Halifax, Washington, we've had two QMJHL draft years, a big one for a lot of kids. So, um, kind of missing a lot of that year. Um, you know, being an undersized guy already, um, that was something that was obviously really tough for me. But, you know, staying around the dressing room, staying around the team was kind of the main thing that, that helped me get through that. Um, I think just coming back, having a good good year, and then, um, you know, I got the chance to head off to St. Andrews at school there, and um, from there, I think it kind of took off. You know, everybody thinks it's celebration time. I actually think the opposite. It's the heavy lifting starts now. You have to, and I think Matt has, I think he looks and he understands that there's a team here that's invested a, a pick in him, or and he's he's got to live up to that. So, there, you know, I think now his only thing that's on his plate right now is Cornell University, and and trying to be the best hockey player and student he possibly can. So, yeah, it's the it's easy to admit that it's very different looking out of a coach's eyes and looking out of a parent's eyes. So, um, at one point you just want him to be healthy, and you know, and then you realize his dreams may be going down the drain with what's happened. And so, to have what's happened to him with St. Andrews and and him making the most of it up to this point has been pretty awesome as far as we're concerned. We're really proud of him, but. Uh, of a coach's eyes, you, it's 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 a whole bunch different. It's okay, giddy up, let's go. You know, dust yourself off after everything and, and move on. Because as long as you're not 
as long as you're not down, you still got a chance. And so it's uh, it's two different ways to look at it. And you know, in this case, I've got to look at it as a parent first. So yeah, he uh, he works very hard. He's very mature when he's in the environment, and uh, he's got a very strong sense of professionalism when he approaches training. And you can tell that when he's in here, he's using this time to make himself better. It's his job. He wants to be better. He wants to excel. And this is the stuff that'll take him to the next level. Whereas a lot of athletes don't, they don't treat this place with respect or training with respect and they don't get to see the payoff of just investing a little more time into taking care of your body and getting physically ready for the game. And the priorities for the, for the, for the summer for Matt Steiner. Yeah, priorities, power and speed. We definitely want to make him very explosive, very fast, and make sure that that translates to his on-ice performance because if we can't do that, it'll mean nothing.